As I'm sure many of us are aware of at this point, one of my favorite REITs, WP Carry, recently made a major announcement regarding their business. On the 21st, the company released a statement regarding its property portfolio that will have a significant impact on this company's future. It was unexpectedly announced by this company that they had made the decision to completely and immediately exit the office sector. As a result of this decision, the current dividend rate WPC is paying will likely face a sizable reduction as their office properties will now be broken off into an entirely new real estate investment trust. According to the original press release, WP Carry today announced that its board of directors had unanimously approved a plan to exit the office assets within its property portfolio by spinning off 59 office properties into net lease office properties so that it will become a separately publicly traded REIT and implement an asset sale program to dispose of 87 office properties retained by WP Carry. The spinoff is expected to close on or around November 1st, 2023, subject to the satisfaction of certain conditions, and all sales under the office sale program are targeted to be completed by January of 2024. According to the company's website, office properties currently make up 16.2% of their real estate portfolio and roughly 10% of their annual rental income. So this isn't a tiny percentage of their real estate, it's 16.2% which is significant. In the press release, they did list several different benefits they expect to experience from this, which includes improving their portfolio quality, maintaining a strong balance sheet, and improving their cost of capital. CEO Jason Fox said, Ultimately, with a clear path to monetizing our legacy office assets, we believe we will achieve a lower cost of capital and be better positioned for long-term value creation for our shareholders. This new REIT that's getting WPC's office properties is going to be called Net Lease Office Properties and will trade under the ticker symbol NLOP sometime in November. According to the company, as a separate company, NLOP will pursue a business plan focused on realizing value to its shareholders, primarily through the strategic asset management and disposition of its property portfolio over time. The spinoff, which does not require shareholder approval, is expected to close on or around November 1st, subject to certain closing conditions. Upon completion, WP Carry stockholders as of the record date for the spinoff will receive shares of NLOP via a special distribution, which is expected to be a taxable event for U.S. federal income tax purposes. The company also released a presentation on this shift, which can be found on their website. The worst part about this change is that they now intend on having a more conservative payout ratio. They plan to start targeting a pro forma AFFO payout ratio of approximately 70-75%, to 75%, which will, according to WP Carey, reset the dividend policy. As of last quarter, their AFFO payout ratio was roughly 78.6%, and with the company losing a chunk of their properties, a dividend cut is extremely likely. The day this news broke, shares of WPC fell by 8% and have continued to move downward since then, only adding to a terrible last six months for this company's stock. When I heard what WP Carey was doing with their office properties, I was disgusted. Everything you could look at in the financials for this company showed that WP Carey was still strong and heading in the right direction. On top of a 78.6% AFFO payout ratio, this company just raised their dividend earlier this month. All of their properties combined have an occupancy rating of 99%, so there doesn't appear to be an issue with finding tenants for their offices. For decades, they bragged about how their offices were considered recession-proof, owning buildings for government agencies, schools, and corporate headquarters. There were no signs at all that this company was struggling, so we have to ask, why on earth did they do this? The best reason I could come up with is that the office sector overall is still struggling. In some markets like San Francisco and Chicago, office vacancies are close to or currently at an all-time high. If the economy gets a lot worse, then the office arm again that some people have been worried about could actually happen. In my opinion, that's one of the best theories as to why they're doing this. Their office properties don't have a high vacancy rating and they don't need to pay off a lot of debt anytime soon. Even if the company did need to liquidate their properties for cash, why wouldn't they do it gradually over time so as not to create a scare in the market? This strategy doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me and it's continued to cause a huge sell-off up to this point. A lot of investors have realized that what WP Carry is currently doing with their office properties has been done before by other REITs. Many people probably remember what Realty Income did back in 2021 when they also decided to unload their office properties. They did a spinoff that's very similar to what WPC is currently doing by creating an entirely new REIT called Orion Office REIT. Shareholders of Realty Income received one share of ONL for every 10 shares of O that they owned. After that spinoff took place, things have been a disaster for Orion. Since their launch, the share price of ONL has collapsed by 79% in less than two years. But in the case of Realty Income spinning off their office properties, they didn't have to go through a dividend reduction. The company was able to unload their properties and yet didn't have to cut their distributions, which just goes to show how good Realty Income's management team is. Once this new office relaunches, then I have no doubt that its share price will likely perform the same way as Orion's did. WP Carey is going to serve as the external manager for this REIT and claims they'll be able to provide this company with the same amount of expertise they have in managing offices. But the question still remains, why did WPC choose to get rid of their properties ASAP? 
In the end, I believe this move made by WP Carry is going to destroy a lot of confidence in their management team. I personally believe that there could be more to this story than what the company is willing to let on. I don't understand why they would destroy a near 25-year legacy just to quickly unload some office properties that weren't even doing bad to begin with. So what should we do with WPC going forward? Normally, if a slight dividend cut is likely to happen or actually does happen, that doesn't necessarily lead me to believe that a holding should be completely sold off. I have a couple holdings that have gone through a dividend cut, but they have something going on, like an acquisition, that gives me hope that the company will be able to perform better in the future. WP Carey, however, is in a different situation. I personally believe that this move made by the management team was handled significantly poorly. Remember, they could have and should have just gradually sold off their office properties over time, or if they really were essential pieces of real estate for governments and other businesses, then it wouldn't make any sense at all to get rid of them if they were necessary for their tenants. In the very long term, I do believe they can benefit from this move made by the company. I've never been a fan of office REITs because they do suffer in poor economic conditions. Getting rid of their offices to instead focus on other property types could be a better strategy for this REIT. The issue though is that this has been an extremely slow growing company for a long time. Looking at their dividend history, we can see they've been able to consistently grow it, but they've only grown it by a fraction of a penny each time. If a 10 or even 20% dividend cut results from getting rid of their offices, then it's going to be a very long time before they're able to restore their dividend to what it is today. And if history repeats itself, the market will likely shun this stock for a long time until the management team is able to prove themselves again, probably after several more years of better management. On top of this, for me, WPC was one of the largest holdings in my portfolio. When I read this unexpected news, I had to make a decision to hold onto it for the recovery or sell all of my shares. On September 21st, the same day the announcement was made regarding their office portfolio, I made the decision to sell out of all of my shares of WPC. What was once my second favorite real estate investment trust was now an investment I had decided to exit without looking back on, and I'm still disgusted by what this management team did. Like I mentioned earlier, I do believe that WPC can continue to grow after this event, but in my opinion, it'll likely be many years before they're able to recover. But facing the choice of either selling out or waiting for a recovery, I chose to abandon it because I don't want to wait a very long time for it to get back to where it is now. Had I known the company was going to make this move, I never would have kept buying this stock, and as a result, I'll be coming out of WPC at a loss. Fortunately, I will be able to use tax loss harvesting in this situation, so it's not a disaster for me. But I can't just keep the same level of confidence that I had in this management team after they decide to pull something like this. My advice to anyone who's going to choose to hold on to WPC, I would say be very patient and sell all of your shares of NLOP as soon as you get them. I think the likelihood of NLOP falling hard is likely after what happened to Orion Office Read. But with that being said, that's going to conclude today's video. If you liked what you saw, then feel free to hit that like button below and click subscribe if you want to see higher yielding investing strategy content. Again, thank you all so much for watching today's video and until next time, take care.